Today we're going to catch something absolutely ridiculous. But before we do, we need to catch one Brumble and one Red Skitter. We have $120,000 to do it with. And we're going to try for the Red Skitter first because I think it's going to be the easier of the two to catch. Just got to remember what part of the ocean it lives in. Oh, that's actually it right there. And we hooked it. First cast, get in the boat. If you would also like to get in the boat, our new merch just launched, link down below. I also just noticed another Red Skitter right below. It's gone now, but it was here. So if we can catch that too, that would be some easy money. Because as rich as we are, we can never have too much money. Probably also have to make a sacrifice here to get rid of these annoying fish. And realism mode is going to absolutely drive me nuts. Even this thing is being super annoying. I'm going to bring the boat to you. How about that? One grumper, aka stupid fish. And we're going to use that to catch one of these. I'm not going to let him get away. I do have upgraded lines, so I can pull pretty hard against them. Queenfish, 2500, get in the boat. Okay, that's a nice little haul to get me started. Uh, that's one extra quest fish done. So that earns me about 20,000 more dollars, and we get a new quest to catch a puff. We're a little ways away from the new boat that's going to help me get out there deeper, so let's try and find a brimble. Those are the big fish that look kind of like a sausage. I need to catch one sausage, which means I need bigger bait. Now to try and actually find one. Okay, I forgot we don't have the bait thing. That one's kind of like a sausage, but not quite the one we're after. Well, if that one happens to bite it, great. If not, we're going to work our way down deeper to hopefully where the brimble lies. Trying to avoid all the fast fish. So far, so good. Where's my sausage fish? Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either, Kate. Well, we're going to settle for one of these for a minute, I guess. I mean, I guess a grumper is good too. I'm going to add a bomb onto there. That's going to delete. I just want to get a bit of space right here so I can see what's going on down here. In fact, let's use a few bombs. These are underutilized. And with enough fish here today, that's just going to annoy me if I don't use one. And the best part is I don't lose my bait while doing this. Someone else want to bite? Someone bite that. Oh, it's got to be the bigger fish. Perfect. Okay, this one swooped in and took my hook. So I'm going to reel the boat toward it while reeling it in. Actually, it pretty much came to me getting the boat. Not the most money in the world, but there's $3,400. That's a brimble. See, it looks like a sausage. So now that I've located the brimble, we just need to find a medium-sized fish to use as bait. The galena on my lines with $900. It's now $900 bait. Tempted to catch that one again. I'll settle for the mustard idiot. Okay, so I also just remembered I have the flicking thing so I can actually flick my bait around as I want and real fish in with that which is horribly unfair but I'm gonna need to utilize this otherwise it's gonna be too hard to catch things oh don't catch that okay we don't have a lot of time left on our light bulb wow those things are so aggressive stop stop go away okay we're taking this one too then we're gonna spend another thousand dollars on light bulbs and then we're gonna hopefully get down without encountering anything too aggressive and then we're gonna go over to the brimble's mouth and then we're gonna fight for an hour to catch it hopefully it doesn't go too deep uh like that I guess we do have a fresh light bulb, so what do we care? Okay, it was basically just going straight down, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the control method to, whoops, bring it through the, I'm just going to reel it in like this. I don't care what it takes. Get in the boat, sausage. And now we get a new quest. Pretty soon we'll get the sonar, which I really need. So now we also need to catch a scissor. So let's go see if we can find one of those. So far, we have not. We've seen lots of other fish though, and that's helping me remember where to find them all. Uh, I think that's actually a scissor there, but we also caught a puffer fish, which is one of the things we do need to catch. I'm just going to do some fancy fishing to get around that, get in the boat, and stay in the boat, at least until I sell you for profit. This lure flick really is invaluable for realistic fishing mode, because it's basically cheating. Because you can just bring the hook and line where Wherever you wanted to go in, reel the fish in without too much trouble. Scissors are $3,800. It's expensive for a bird with a beak. Yeah, I said bird, get over it. I'm gonna let it enjoy some air and freedom before selling it. Probably to be eaten. We also have a common ball cap, which means we can now have three quests, so we need a nightfish, a swordfish, and a bleeper. And since this fish is volunteering to be bait, we're gonna let it. Plus, only one more quest to get my sonar. I wonder if I could do something stupid like flick the line all the way to the right, even though we're not allowed to be over here right now. Then I just happened to hook this lonely fish while they were going around. They're also worth $12,000. Get in the boat. Then I'm gonna turn this round fin worth $400 into bigger bait as soon as I find a slightly bigger fish, depending on how much this one is worth. $2,800. We're going to turn it into bait. We're going deep with this one. Turn into some kind of money. Do we want one of those? I can't remember what's worth anything. You're probably worth something. $7,200. Get in the boat. Those kind of fish too are lots of experience. We're already up to level 20. The higher level we go, the better it's going to be for us because we get all sorts of new stuff. You, bite my hook. Okay, we caught two thirds of this fish. I think the swordfish is out deeper, so we won't really be able to get it until we get a better boat. The bleeper we might be able to get, I just don't remember where it is. Are you a bleeper? This is a Georgian worth 11 grand though, so we're making pretty good money. 
I'm not going to risk throwing it in the boat because I often screw that up. We're just going to go ahead and sell everything we got for $36,000. Okay, so the bleeper is a night fish. We got to wait for that. I'm pretty sure the night fish is also a night fish. I remember this one. It's hard to find. So basically, we're just going to go catch fish and make money until it's either nighttime or we can afford a better boat. Okay, I'm also going to spend $5,000 on a hook right now because I'm feeling very bold. And I feel like if we cast just right, we might be able to hook something really big down here. Not you. Not you. Not you. Isn't there a whale shark or a shark right here somewhere? Okay, we managed to catch one of these instead, which is always fun. But since I've got this and I'm already down here, let's see if we can find a shark. Because the shark will eat this. And since I have the big hook, we could catch a shark. <laughs> since this fish wanted to be fun and annoy me, I'm going to annoy it back by taking it on a little adventure through the oceans. Which ends with it being consumed alive by a bigger fish. There it is. Gotcha. I mean, I got to feed you. Isn't that enough to want to get in my boat? Got it. $64,000. Get in the boat. Then and I'm pretty sure once I sell that, I have enough for a better boat, but I want a little bit more money because I spend a lot on stupid things that I end up wasting. But there's a somewhat expensive goldfish right here, so we're going to go ahead and scoop that up real quick. Oh, never mind. It fell back out of the boat. I don't know how many times I'm going to do that before I remember not to do that. All right, well, let's attach a light bulb and a rocket, speaking of wasting money, and launch this thing into oblivion because I want to see what's out here. There's a hat. Oh, there's two hats. Can we catch two hats at once? Nope. All right, well, I guess we're going to settle for this hat. I don't know what this one does. Boat coasts faster, and you can wait when you're away from shore. No, thank you. I'm going to stick to the extra quest. Okay, I also... Yeah, thanks, guys. Found the whale shark or whatever it is down here. So we're also going to catch one of those while we're waiting for nighttime. So all we need is to turn one fish into other bait, because I'm pretty sure that whale shark was somewhere below me. This flick thing really works great, because I can guide, the uh, guide my bait right to the fish's mouth. And as soon as it wants to play ball, we we'll start to... I don't know if I can... It covers the whole line, so I can't see it. I lost it. Even cheating, I lost it. That thing's hard to catch. So let's do it again. Maybe not with this though, because that's expensive. Then let's go find the idiot again. Unless it's moved on, which it actually might have for the time being, because I tried to catch it. You know what? It's all good. It wouldn't be a casual fishing game if I wasn't stressing my life out over it. I just realized I feel like I do games backwards. Tiger Shark, get in the boat. The hard games, I don't stress about. The easy games, I overstress about. But what I'm not going to stress about is having $97,000 on board. So once we make it all the way back to shore, we can sell these colossal idiots for $107,000, and that's definitely enough to buy a speedboat. That's actually almost enough for the dark boat. Well, we'll do this one at a time. Do we want the better rod also? I don't think so. I need the strength. Until I can get that rod, I want to be able to just pull fish in without any problem. But now we're looking good. We got a hat and a better boat. So we're going to go way out there to try and find a swordfish. So let's take a look at our new water. Well, we have some new fish so far. Still no swordfish but the swordfish might be nomadic. For now, I'm just going to keep catching whatever I happen to see that looks amusing just for some money until it wants to make an appearance. Oh, okay, cool. That's not going to... No, oh, there's a swordfish. Okay, the swordfish has made an appearance. Now that we're out in deep water, so now we just got to find a pufferfish and use it to spear it. Found a pufferfish, and we didn't catch it. Okay, this is falling apart quickly. $6,000 for half a fish is fine. It can wait there and suffer. Okay, we cut the puffer fish. There's the swordfish. Come on. It wanted to spear it. It was close. Did it seriously just leave? I couldn't get away from it for the past five minutes. And now that I actually have a puffer fish. Oh, come on. You know you want to stab this thing. Oh, there we go. Who wouldn't want to stab one of these? And it's not even fighting back. Great. Get in the boat. Both of you. I'm going to go all the way in to sell this. Um, it's a long journey, but I need a new quest. Because nighttime never happens in this game. And, um... Sonar is $125,000. We'll be able to afford that soon. Then I can see what's going on down below me. Selling those fishes are $213,000. So that means I can easily afford that. So now I can see what's down there as I cruise along, which doesn't seem helpful at glance, but at least I can see there's big fish down there. So then we're also going to get a new quest one, Spalo. This is so much easier doing the vision order though, because we caught the skitter. These are playing with the skitters. I'm pretty sure these are those um, gumdrop looking fish, which were somewhere out here in the deeper water. Water. maybe one of those so here's the bait i did not oh yeah this is probably expensive bait whatever i've made my decision and i'm sticking to it but look who swam into my face so we're gonna go ahead and throw this guy in the boat and then i guess they're going all the way back in well, I'm going to catch a few more of the expensive fish before I do that because it's a long journey and these are worth a lot of money by themselves and my line is so strong that 
they can't really fight back anyway. So unfortunately, every time we grab one of these, he comes to get me, so I might have to catch him first. So this adorable moron is going to turn into bait. Then we're going to remove this one from the gene pool, hopefully forever, because there might not be a more annoying fish in existence. Uh, also, I haven't seen those yet before, but I'm not sure if they're more valuable. I do want the red fish. I guess you'll work. Eh, $1,400 is enough to pay for a light bulb. Yeah, I caught one of the little uh, beaky guys. There's one left. These are going to be some easy profit and experience. Get in the boat. That also leveled me up to 25. So there's an easy 50 grand and a new quest. Now I need a Noctis, which might also be a night fish. Yes, that's the annoying salmon that shows up at night. But if I remember, I think I can actually catch the night fish during the day. They're just very deep. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring right down below that cave. So we're going to take our light bulb and hopefully make it past all the idiots never mind i'm gonna use a bomb for only 200 dollars to help me because then the first thing that's going to bite me is going to swim away and then we'll be able to get a look at what's down here so far this is definitely not what i'm after there is a hat though i'll take that is that what we're looking for i think that's actually what we're looking for can you bite it now well we found what we're looking for but we also found a cool hat battery life of the light bulb is greatly increased no thank you but we do need a medium-sized bait so if something wants to turn into food for me that would be greatly appreciated thank you a volunteer all right guys we're going to the bottom because i remember where that other fish is okay nope 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 bad bad did i catch it oh i caught one of these that's not even as good as the one i was trying to get away from beak fish you know what get in the boat okay we got some brand new bait so we need to get down i'm worried that fish is gonna move and i really want it to stay there because they're hard to find kate not you in theory there's only so many things that can bite my thing on the way down before we're gonna run out of things to bite my thing not you going around you oh, uh oh how did i turn the sonar off that's not helpful oh found it okay you please bite what do you bite why isn't it biting there's a hat bite my thing stupid is it stuck bite my thing okay i need to look at what it's going to take to catch that for now we're going to settle for a hat unless you want a hat it doesn't want the hat giant hooks last two casts the shark follows the boat that's actually probably has some use in some situations do i need slightly bigger bait like do i need the medium sized bait i think that's maybe it there's also a hat down there i'm going to go towards and maybe get I like, oh, oh i already have that hat anyway okay i need you for bait thank you okay i don't need you but great um we're gonna use one bomb because i don't trust myself i most so don't trust the other fish see like that just saved me we're gonna go maybe around between those fish we got a weird little gap here we're gonna try and go around them oh i don't have a light bulb anymore okay well we're gonna hope to catch the fish which i think is right here nope i hit the bottom that's okay i've got nothing but time for catching idiots back to the medium-sized bait with the grumper now to navigate this idiot all the way to the bottom at least with slightly bigger bait many less things can even bite us this bait feels too big i don't know what this fish's problem is it might actually be stuck so we're gonna see if we can find another one so far i'm just finding a lot of very pretty hats i don't really want to go down to the caverns right now because i'm not set up for that i guess i could catch one of these while i'm here yeah, come on up. Why not? It's a very colorful fish at least, so that's got to be worth some money. I think the night fish is maybe broken, but I know where to catch it now. This one's worth $60,000. So we're going to sell that, and since I have 328, let's just skip right to the great rod because it can have all the attachments, and I like attachments. Oh, that one's actually still better. But we can still get all the stuff we need, like a diving lure. These are very expensive upgrades. I didn't realize how much I was going to have to pay to do this again. Okay, then I'm going to buy like two or three levels of gauge that way things can stop breaking my line so easily uh so next i'm gonna get sinker because that's a nice one for scouting and we're gonna increase rail speed well at least now that i have the sinking lure i can kind of guide my lure down in another way again which is helpful for me i've been using the flick just to navigate everywhere but just sinking like this is a little bit easier wow look at that new rod you want to bite that bait he still doesn't want it i really don't know what this fish's problem is so we're gonna settle for a fedora your boat moves faster medium fish are more aggressive no thank you i still need these fish so if nighttime ever wants to happen again, I wouldn't complain with that. While we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to take a rocket and a light bulb and do a big cast from as far out as we can go right now to hopefully find something new and expensive. There's definitely some different new fish out here, but nothing that looks overly expensive yet. There is something pretty big below me. Do I want one of those? Not really. I kind of want one of these though, because I don't see these very often. There's also that shy fish that hides in the dark. That's going to be so stupidly hard to catch though. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh no, I'll take this green furry thing. It's only worth $850. Well, good news, furry thing. You're going to be my bait now. But at least you can take solace in the fact that we're finally turning you into something useful. Maybe a glowing fish. Things that glow in the dark have to be worth a lot, right? And so far, this line is holding up very nicely. Lumina, $12,000. Then we're going to sell that for $12,000. Then I'm going to restart. Because now, hopefully, 
things will be a little bit better. Like we'll actually get a night time and we'll be able to catch this stupid fish at the bottom. But no, all the fish did definitely properly respawn. So I'm going to have to fight my way through a whole horde of idiots. But that's also what bombs are for. Oh, you're actually swimming around. Okay, interesting. Are you biting? Are you not biting? This fish is broken. I mean, I guess I could wait for daytime anyway, since it's clearly busy doing other things. And it is a medium-sized fish, so the basic bait should work. But not if it's all broken. Anyways, we have the diving bait, the diving line now, so we can just go down here and find new stuff. Potentially find new stuff. Uh, we cut a Lumina accidentally, and I guess since we have the diving lure, we can go into the caves if we want to. And I guess we'd probably might as well. Look at this new line. I can just reel this thing straight in without any problem. All the way from the bottom to the top. Thank you. Just gonna use a few bombs to make our way happily to the cave entrance. Um, yeah, there we go. I might have to spend a few thousand dollars doing this, but if it saves me trouble getting in and out of the caves, it's money well spent. That's definitely a big one. There's so many fish. But now we have bait that happily volunteered. I need to be a little more forward anyway. Okay, we made it down to the cave entrance, got most of the fish out of the way along the way, kind of forgot about those, so my bait's gone. But that also means I can catch one of those because that's a new fish and that means more money and more experience. Okay, I need bait guard for sure. It's $54,000, but that's going to stop little idiots from stealing important stuff. Now I can get down there somewhat in peace, so I only have sec 30 seconds left of my light bulb. So let's get straight down there and catch one of the idiots. And he's not here now. I can't remember where they hide. I know it's one side or the other. There you are. Perfect. Now we're going to pull you to the surface with my mighty strong line. In fact, you don't really have a choice. You're just coming straight to the top because you're going to give us a large amount of money. Oh. Well, that's not bad, but there is something else in that cave. I don't remember what it is, but it was also quite big and it's harder to catch because the idiot I just caught isn't, that's worth $8,400. I'm going to keep that. Look, I just need a lot of money in this game because I buy a lot of stupid stuff. So yeah, anytime I get money, I'm going to, you know, do it. Okay, then we're navigating down. I'm going to go around all of that and just let it keep sinking. Now I'm going to try and catch what's in this cave without catching, oh, maybe it's just those things again. Yeah, I don't want any of you guys. Uh, you're new though. Get it, get over here. And it went straight into the ceiling because it's stupid. That might have been like 5% my fault at best. I just came up with a fun idea. Since fish are annoying me anyway, let's go after the most annoying of all the fish. The one that's scared of the light. So I think this is actually a good time to try and catch it. Uh, my light bulb's about to wear out. But I can use the radar to see it uh, and hopefully find it. Uh, I might have to get... Mm, this is going to be hard. Are you it? You need a huge hook. Okay, maybe this won't be as hard as I thought. Huge hooks do cost $5,000, so I'm going to have to be a little bit smart about this. Okay, we're going to start with a puffer fish, which is $1,600, which we're going to turn into whatever this is. Oh, that's a little bit expensive. We're keeping that. So we're going to use a puffer fish into whatever this is. Then we're going to put on a giant hook. Oh, now it's finding nighttime. Well, this is going to make catching a dark fish even harder. So good timing as always. Uh, I also have no idea where I am in space. I'm just going by the radar and I think I'm avoiding things so far. I think this fish over here is the one. Yeah. No. I don't know what happened because it got dark. I ended up with a queen fish. Hey, look at the glowing fish. That's kind of neat. Oh, yeah, I can't get you in the boat right now because I'm moving. So we got 40000 for everything we just sold. We're now going to attach a light bulb so we can see what we're doing down there. But we're going to catch some of these rare night fish that have been bugging out on us because it hasn't been night in 45 years. Like this guy was up near the surface. You never see these. It's only worth $2,100, but that's still easy money. Then we'll find that other fish that was eluding us for so long, but we're also going to catch... Oh, actually, we need one of those too. Perfect. Yeah, follow me to the top. Don't worry about it. Never mind. Well, there's the night fish again, so he's hanging out over here, so we'll catch something eventually. So let's see if we can get him out of the mix. Oh, look who finally wants to play ball with us. Enjoy my mighty unstoppable line. There we go. That was so much harder than it had to be. So we'll work our way up to the bigger fish. Uh, it's pretty hit and miss when it bites because it's a lunatic. Okay, I finally worked my way up to a medium sized bait, which is surprisingly hard at night. Now we're going to wait for the big red salmon thing to show up again. It's always here when you don't want it to be, so we're just gonna hang out here. Eventually, it'll make an appearance. It did just swim by. It's, I think, this one on the map. Yeah, there it is. We're chasing it down by the radar. It's over here right now. I'm also going to go over into this emptier spot to hopefully find it. I don't know where it went, but I think it was over here. Okay, I think this is it here because it's the only one on the map that moves that far. Come on, come on. Oh, this is just another one of those fishes that is stupidly hard to catch. Oh, here it comes again. Come on. So close. It was coming back. It faked me out. It might not even actually be that one because that one's going in a motion. Okay, here it comes. It's this one. Oh, oh, we might have it. So I got to be careful with this because this will break my line because it's very big. 
but I don't want to have to try and catch this again because it's impossible to catch. And it's swimming upside down. This might be it. Nope, I'm not going to push my luck too far. I have the strongest line possible right now when it's still struggling. I'm also bringing the boat toward it as fast as I can. That way I hopefully have to reel it in less far because look how far it's going. Okay, it's actually so far out that it's like in the deep water. Like there, I saw the different background already. So that's fun. And it almost snagged itself into the ground below. So I'm going to just try and keep it up because... Oh good, the light bulb wore out too. To be fair, I can kind of... Hmm, never mind. Look how far out it was though. Like it just kept swimming out further and further and further. I think I might just need a better rod to be able to physically reel that in. I do however think I also need that fish. So before night ends I need to try and get a hold of that somehow. The hardest part of night is finding small bait. There's not a lot of small fish out there and then things like that happen frequently. There's also that big fish suddenly very near the surface. Okay well I cut a hat for now because I'm really having trouble finding any small fish. The sun never rises and storms are more frequent. Oh it's like an endless night. I kind of want that right now. Finally managed to find some smaller bait again, so that's actually a really good sign. But now that I have this, the other fish we're looking for has abandoned us. Wait, wait, I think I got one. Bleeper, get in the boat. I just realized that for that you need to catch one of these, but I need a bigger hook. And you can also use these glowy fish to catch the uh, scared of the dark fish. Okay, I think these two might be the little glowy fish I need, so I'm going to try something really stupid. Because if that's a glowy fish, I can actually use it to my advantage here. And it is, so... Oh, where's my bigger hook? Am I using a bigger hook right now? Oh, okay, never mind. We screwed it up anyway. Look who came back and pretty much jumped into our boat. $250,000 knock this. I'm not even going to try and throw that in the boat. I'm so annoyed at this thing. I just want to... I basically want to run it over with my boat and gooify it. Instead, I'm going to sell it. Because this is definitely one of the hard fish to catch. Goodbye. Never come back. That was incredibly frustrating. But I feel like things are buggy. Luckily, we found a way to turn it to night and then make it endless night, so it all worked out okay. Next time we'll catch something even more ridiculous.